Thanks for joining me for another Saturday demo. All of us here at Rockler hope you're staying healthy and productive with your woodworking projects. Ah, miter joints. So often a part of woodworking and yet at times so finicky to get right. They're even more challenging when your frame members get wider, like this, or when you're making a frame that has more than four pieces to it, like this. And that's where a quality miter gauge system like Rockler's precision miter gauge and fence can really help improve your angle cutting accuracy. Here's how. With some miter gauges, the problem begins at the bar that goes into the saw's miter slot. You can see here on this miter gauge that the bar wiggles back and forth in the slot because it's slightly undersized. Now that might not seem like a big deal, but any extra play between the miter slot and the bar impacts the cut. You might not be able to get a truly flat miter cut, or your work pieces might be just a little bit shorter or a little bit longer than you want them to be. Any deviations, even the really small ones, can impact how your miter joints fit together. But the bar on Rockler's miter gauge can account for any extra play. It's got four nylon adjuster screws installed along its length. Adjusting these tiny screws out effectively widens the bar to eliminate play so it can slide smoothly without any unwanted slop. Miter gauges typically have preset detents for common angles like 0, 15, 22 and a half, 30, and 45 degrees. Rockler's Precision Miter Gauge has all of those detents plus detents for 60 degrees. Loosening this knob and pulling the spring-loaded stop back enables you to pivot and lock the gauge to all of its preset detents, and they engage securely so you can cut common miter angles with confidence. But sometimes the miter angle you need doesn't quite match those detents. You might need it to be 44 and a half degrees instead of 45 or 31 degrees instead of 30. And setting the gauge close to but not in these detents can be difficult with some miter gauges. The pin wants to snap back into the detent so you lose your off detent setting. But with Rockler's Precision Miter Gauge, locking angle settings right next to the detents isn't a problem. Just pull back the spring-loaded stop and tighten the low-profile knob on top to lock it in the retracted position. Then you can set the miter gauge to any degree you need and lock the setting by tightening the large handle. When you're making closed frames with miter joints, you're going to have to cut some parts to the exact same length. Opposite sides need to match, after all. And in order to do that, your miter gauge needs two things, a long fence and a stop block of some sort. Rockler offers an extruded aluminum fence as an accessory for the precision miter gauge. It has a flip stop that slides along the top of the fence and can be locked anywhere along its length. So repetitive cross cuts are easy to set up and carry out. The fence's melamine facing serves two good purposes. First, once you cut through it, it gives you an exact reference for where the blade's going to intersect it to help you line up your cuts more accurately. And second, it serves to back up workpieces when the blade exits to help eliminate tear out and produce cleaner cuts. And when you need to cut longer workpieces, the fence has a telescoping extension that pulls out of the end to support workpieces up to 24 inches. Cutting accurate miter joints doesn't have to be frustrating because a good miter gauge and fence setup can make all the difference. Learn more about Rockler's precision miter gauge and accessory fence at rockler.com. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine. Thanks for watching.